Well, first and foremost, let me indicate that there is nothing wrong or illegal about the issuance of direct, direct awards. Direct awards are covered under the Finance Act, where it grants the Minister for Finance the latitude in cases where necessary to issue a direct award to a preferred contractor based on experience or based on um, proposals submitted to the government. What is wrong about the revelation is the fact that whoever has leaked the documents has violated the staff orders. And in, in a number of cases under Chapter 1, Chapter 4, and Chapter 5 of the staff orders, it is illegal for any public officer to leak any document whatsoever and as a consequence can face disciplinary action. On the other hand, one of the reasons why you have seen the number of direct awards issued. It is because the Ministry of Infrastructure for this year has a very aggressive and positive works program. Unfortunately, because of the fact that the budget was delayed by some 40 to 45 days, that in itself didn't provide the opportunity for the Ministry to submit its proposals and to be approved for implementation in the first and second quarter. However, once the budget was approved and the submissions were made to the Ministry of Finance, we had to, in an endeavor to achieve our third quarter um, target, we had to um, issue a number of direct, direct awards. But they were not only direct awards. There are a number of awards which were made through the Central Attenders Board, a number which were made under the authority of the Permanent Secretary, that is, awards below $50,000. And since in the absence of a departmental tender board, which deals with awards up to $100,000, we were forced in the Ministry to do an internal assessment of proposals requested from contractors and then to submit it as a direct award. These are nothing new. They're not unheard of. Every government, past, present, and in the future, except if the legislation is changed, the Minister for Finance has that authority to make direct awards to competent contractors and persons who have submitted proposals upon invitation for the projects in concern. In this case, Minister Guy Joseph acted then as Prime Minister and Minister responsible for finance. By that authority of the appointment made of the Honorable Guy Joseph, he was in the seat at the time, and so he happened to have signed those awards. So it's nothing new. There's no wrongdoing. There's no illegality about, about the um, awards. It is merely a, 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 a regular transaction. It's a normal transaction. And of course, I can only classify it as being political mischief. Does that mean that you can well, it is the responsibility of the Ministry of Finance under the Finance Act to do the necessary investigation to determine exactly where those documents were leaked from. And I am sure, based on my own conversation with the, with the Prime Minister, that the matter will be investigated, thoroughly investigated, and officer or officers dealt with if the full brunt of the law. Notwithstanding that there is nothing wrong, notwithstanding that there is nothing wrong, no public officer is, 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 has the authority okay, or the duty to release any document that is part of the government's file, except it is released officially. So whereas there is nothing wrong, but people must abide by the rules of the public service, not in their own whims and fancies. Well, we've had a number of instances where persons have leaked documents. This seemed to be a new trend on the part of public officers, a part, on, on the part of other individuals who may have access. And so it is one that we must be worried 
But at the same time, I believe in transparency. And what we have to do as a government is to ensure at all times there is transparency. Having said this, let me indicate what we call a single source um, procurement exercise is one that is done by all governments around the world and by international agencies. There are times when an agency needs to get a project off the ground, whether it's in emergency cases or otherwise, and a determination is made to go to a single source for procurement of those services, contract or otherwise. And in many instances, what drives that is the knowledge of competence on the part of a known contractor or supplier to be able to provide the service to the government or the agency.